How can a few drops of liquid or a small injection transform your immune system into a disease-fighting powerhouse? Vaccines are among the greatest achievements in medicine, and today we uncover the intricate science of how they work. A vaccine is a biological tool designed to safely train your body's defenses. It contains antigens, small parts of a pathogen or lab-made mimics, that teach your immune system to recognize danger before the real threat appears. Antigens can be proteins, toxins, or sugars that act as red flags to the immune system. Think of them as wanted posters, molecular signals that help your body identify an invader. Some antigens are made of sugars, polysaccharides. Vaccines against pneumonia and meningitis use these to target bacteria like streptococcus pneumonia, saving millions of lives every year. The success of a vaccine is measured in clinical trials, not just by lab results but by real-world outcomes, preventing infections, reducing severity, and cutting hospitalizations. Vaccines fall into two main categories, live attenuated, which use weakened forms of microbes, and non-live, which use killed organisms or fragments. Both strategies prepare the immune system for battle. In recent decades, new vaccine platforms have emerged. Viral vectors, mRNA and DNA vaccines, and virus-like particles, pushing the boundaries of science and speed, as seen with the COVID-19 vaccines. Live attenuated vaccines replicate just enough to spark immunity, but not cause illness. Examples include measles, mumps, rubella, and TB. They're powerful, but must be avoided in people with weak immune systems, where even a mild strain can be dangerous. Sometimes live vaccines can cause mild symptoms, a rash after measles or fever in one out of seven children. But these are far safer than the full-blown disease. Non-live vaccines take a different approach, using killed organisms, purified proteins, or harmless versions of toxins. Examples include tetanus, hepatitis B, and pneumococcal vaccines. Toxoid vaccines, like tetanus and diphtheria, train your immune system to neutralize dangerous bacterial toxins, which can be deadlier than the bacteria themselves. Many vaccines include adjuvants, molecules that supercharge the immune response. For 80 years, aluminum salts, or alum, have been widely used. Newer adjuvants, like MF59 and AS01, provide danger signals that awaken the body's first line of defense. Vaccines also contain stabilizers, preservatives and emulsifiers to keep them safe and effective. Trace amounts of substances like gelatin or egg protein may remain, but these have been studied extensively, with risks limited only to rare allergies. Once injected, vaccine antigens are captured by dendritic cells, the generals of the immune army. Activated by adjuvants, they migrate to lymph nodes, ready to train T and B cells. In the lymph node, dendritic cells display antigens on MHC molecules activating T cells. Meanwhile, B cells detect soluble antigens directly, together forming the backbone of adaptive immunity. Activated T helper cells guide B cells to mature into plasma cells, factories that churn out antibodies. Within two weeks, antibody levels spike, providing early protection. But the true power of vaccination lies in memory. Long-lived plasma cells reside in the bone marrow, producing antibodies for decades, while memory B and T cells stand ready to respond at lightning speed. CD8 plus cytotoxic T cells hunt and destroy infected cells. In reinfection, memory CD8 plus cells multiply rapidly, acting as assassins to stop the pathogen before it spreads. Not all immunity is built. Sometimes it's borrowed, like maternal antibodies pass through the placenta, protecting newborns in the first months of life. Vaccinating mothers with tetanus or pertussis boosts this natural shield. Immunization extends beyond individuals. When enough people are vaccinated, pathogens struggle to spread, protecting infants, the elderly, and the immunocompromised. This is herd immunity. Some vaccines even provide nonspecific effects, training the innate immune system to respond more strongly to unrelated infections. Scientists are still uncovering these fascinating benefits. Every vaccine dose protects not only the recipient, but their entire community. The ripple effect of immunization is one of humanity's most powerful tools in reducing disease worldwide. From antigens and adjuvants to memory cells and herd immunity, vaccines are more than medicine. They are shields of hope, forged through centuries of science. Stay informed, stay protected. Talk to your healthcare provider about the vaccines recommended for you and your family. Together, we protect the future.